Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome back to another episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today we're diving deep into the life of one of America's earliest leaders, William Bradford. This is the guy who led the pilgrims at Plymouth Colony, and you know, he's just one of those figures that keeps popping up in history books. Ah yeah, and Turkey Day trivia. Alright, let's set sail into the annals of history. First off, a bit about his early life and family history. William Bradford was born in 1590 in Osterfield, Yorkshire, England. Unfortunately, Bradford had a difficult childhood. He lost both parents and his grandfather by the age of seven. Talk about a rough start. But, like any great story, adversity shaped our main character. Young Bradford found solace in the Bible and his local church, which introduced him to the Puritan movement. And, speaking of talents, while Bradford was many things, he was notably a self-taught scholar. He learned various languages and became well-versed in the classics. I mean, back then there was no Duolingo, so... It is truly amazing what people can accomplish when they put their minds to it. Now, let's dive into the Pilgrim religion. The Pilgrims were a sect of Puritans who believed that the Church of England was beyond redemption, and they wanted to separate entirely. Yeah, and this wasn't just a small theological disagreement. They faced persecution for their beliefs. Hence, many sought refuge in the Netherlands before considering the New World. Bradford, a devout member, played a key role. He felt the youth were being led astray in the Netherlands, which added impetus to the move. So America it is. Here come the pilgrims. They draft the Mayflower Compact, which Bradford was a signatory of. It was essentially an agreement on governing the new colony. Right. And he didn't just sign it. He ended up being the governor of Plymouth for 30 years. Now, that's job security. Looking for a long-term commitment? Consider colonial leadership. Now, one person Bradford had an intriguing relationship with was Squanto. Ah, the native who spoke English and assisted the pilgrims. Exactly. Squanto taught the pilgrims to plant corn and fish, essentially ensuring their survival. Talk about a life coach. Hey, here's how you don't starve. But their relationship was layered. While Bradford respected Squanto, there were suspicions about Squanto's motivations at times. Regardless, there's no denying his importance in the early days of the colony. Wave goodbye to sugar-loaded boosts and say hello to Strike Force Energy. The energy drink additive revolutionizing how you power up, all without a single calorie or sugar. Just a squeeze, and you're set for action. Ready to make the switch? Visit StrikeForceEnergy.com. And for our listeners, spark your savings with an exclusive 20% discount. Just use code UTSALAX24 at checkout. Remember, UTSALAX24. Strike Force Energy, elevate every sip. As leader of Plymouth, Bradford faced innumerable challenges. From managing resources, keeping peace amongst settlers, to navigating relationships with Native American tribes. And let's not forget the first Thanksgiving, arguably America's favorite food centric holiday. Without Bradford's leadership and diplomacy, that historic event might not have happened. So, every time we're unbuttoning our pants after too much turkey, we have Bradford to thank. Finally, Bradford's lasting impact. He wrote of Plymouth Plantation, an invaluable primary source on the Pilgrim's journey and early colonial life. Absolutely. And his leadership paved the way for the representative government that would come later in American history. To wrap up, Bradford's life embodies resilience, faith, leadership, and the belief in a better future. So, here's to William Bradford, one of the true pioneers of the American story. All right, folks, that's it for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the life of William Bradford. If you did, please like, rate, and share the podcast. And if you want more history, laughs, and maybe even a few grown worthy dad jokes, stick with us. Thanks for listening. Until next time. <laughs>